Hey there, welcome back to the Project Management Nation where we talk about all things project. So I've been on a kick lately. I've been loving uh, the time that I've been spending playing with Chat GPT, an artificial intelligence engine that it has enormous potential to help project managers. We've explored uh, scope, schedule, budget, other things. Right now, we are gonna take a look at what ChatGPT can do for us in creating other project artifacts, such as the Project Charter. I hope you enjoy. All right, to anyone who has watched my other videos uh, on ChatGPT, this window should look familiar to you. This is a standard uh, window that you get when you sign into chat GPT. When I signed in, I did get a warning that there is uh, a lot of usage right now, so things might go slower for us. But we're going to use the same scenario that we've been using throughout the rest of the videos, and that is uh, laid out here. Uh, I'm setting up our company's first office in Poland, and I've set out five tasks and uh, four budget items for it to work through, and we are going to ask it to create a project charter. So let's go ahead and see what it can do. Okay, so it's starting. It's actually moving pretty well, so it doesn't look like it's that slow or they've caught up with demand. So project name, project manager name, so they left a blank for us, project objective, set up a legal entity and establish new office space in Poland. So I didn't say that we're setting up the project uh, or the new office in Poland because we're trying to take advantage of a, a lower financial base, um, but that's, we can edit this. All of this can be exported and, and put into whatever document retention and, and creation uh, applications you use. So there's the scope. It just kind of repeated um, what I had in there. Looks like it's just kind of doing a lot of repeating. It is putting in um, most of the elements. So you've got budget, timeline, scope. Uh, okay, so put in the budget fees, which th those that's not the fees. Um, it, it continues to get the math wrong on that. I'm not sure what, um, what I need to do differently. Okay, it inserted some project risks. That's great. Um, Difficulty in finding suitable office space. Yeah, delays in obtaining necessary permits. Uh, and then it has an approval. This is approved by uh, in the project charter. So it included a lot of the, the key project charter elements. It doesn't have a list of stake, key stakeholders and executive sponsors and such, but I didn't give it that information. It would have been nice if it could have added um, a section um, blank for that. But given that this is just a publicly available tool, that's really quite a remarkable finding. Uh, and I, I'm very pleased with those results. I'm going to try something else. I have not tried this before. I'm pretty sure that it can't actually do it. But let's find out. Please create a uh, steak older slide deck. I don't think it's able to create anything like that. I'll bet it gives us just an outline. Oh, okay, so it's suggesting slides and what should go on them. Okay. So there, it, it, it has a section for stakeholders. I would have liked to have seen that in the project charter too, since it suggested it here, but um, that's okay. Project objective, project scope. What I'm finding in general is that uh, this chat GPT tool is a really good way to um, really almost get a second opinion on what you're doing or go to it with uh, for ideas or just to kind of test out, hey, am I looking at everything right? Um, have I got the right kind of content? Uh, it also has remarkable uh, abilities to write uh, very um, good um, reports and, and other things. So overall, this is a uh, quite an amazing um, free tool uh, for project managers to use. So it's got slide 12 as a thank you, contact information. 
This should give you a good starting point. I think that is a good starting point. Remember to tailor the content. Yeah, okay. So um, it didn't suddenly just generate a slide deck for us, but it gave us a lot of interesting materials um, or ideas for materials that we can create for that slide deck. So that's not bad. Once again, um, ChatGPT is doing a, a, a I consider a, a remarkable job in being an assistant to a project manager. I don't think it's going to take over yet, um, but I think that uh, it, it is a tool that all project managers should consider using. Hope you enjoyed the content. Thank you. All right, I, I hope that you enjoyed the content of that video and that it was useful uh, for you. Please like and subscribe. Also, please put in the comments any uh, comments you have, any thoughts, expand the ideas that I presented. Um, also, if you've got ideas for other videos, please let me know. Right now, I'm gonna take a, a second to do a shameless plug. A couple of years ago, I wrote a book. I was fortunate enough to have it picked up by a publisher. It's called The MBA Distilled for Project and Program Professionals. And it talks about uh, the experience that I had getting my MBA while being a project and program manager. It covers all of the core MBA courses from uh, corporate strategy to finance, accounting, economics, and it takes the learnings from the MBA program and applies it to our profession. Uh, I really enjoyed writing the book. I think there's a lot of uh, great um, uh, skills that we can apply to our profession in it. My favorite chapter, though, is the very last chapter. And if you are a project or program professional and you're thinking about getting your MBA, you're going to want to read that chapter. It will help you to decide. I believe in the power of the MBA and that it can be a real career booster, but not for everybody. And I talk through all of my logic as to why. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video.